emotionally there to actually strike. In Kendo, two combatants duel with bamboo swords called Shinai for three two-minute rounds. A point is awarded by striking the head, torso, wrist, or throat. The first individual to score two points, awarded by three judges, wins the match. There is a saying in Kendo, the 1,000 days training for one moment of reckoning. Every three years, hundreds of competitors come from more than 50 countries to crown the best on the planet. And in the spring of 2015, the 16th World Kendo Championships were held in Tokyo, Japan. The Japanese martial art of Kendo was evolved from the ancient samurai philosophy to mold the mind, body, and spirit. I studied Kendo while training for my lightsaber duels as Luke. And as thrilling as the final fight was in The Return of the Jedi, it was released in 1983. When the saga resumed, it was 1999. In those 16 years, it was Kendo that grew to become the cornerstone of the next generation of lightsaber duels. I was looking for a kind of sword fighting that was reminiscent of what was in the movies that we'd already done, but a more energized version of it. So to see a, a Jedi in his prime fighting in the prime of the Jedi, I wanted it to be a much more energetic and, and faster version of what we've been doing. The fighting style was set. All we had to do was evolve it. Acclaimed British stunt coordinator Nick Gillard was brought in to execute a new vision in The Phantom Menace. I like that there. Kendo became my base ingredient. You know Kendo movies. <laughs> Kendo in chop, parry, hit. In Star Wars, that became bang, parry, chop, hit. <laughs> It would take two Jedi at once to take on a new villain, Darth Maul, played by martial arts expert Ray Park. When I landed the, the role of Darth Maul, we were training, you know, 10 to 15 hours a day. We were there all day. I have all this Wushu and Kung Fu style, but when you have the double-bladed lightsaber in your hand, the style changes. The end fight with Obi-Wan, the lightsaber gets broken in half. Normally, I would use one hand in Wushu, because that's what we do with one hand, but it was two-handed. So that's where that Kendo style came out. And then at the end, Darth Maul got a little too cocky. Good guys are green and blue, bad guys are red. That's just the way it works. No purple left? You, you might get purple. Even though we were thinking about Kendo, we hadn't yet fully gone into it until episode two. I'm such a fan of Japanese samurai movies, and I watched a lot of Kendo fights. I'm doing pretty good at it. The fight with Anakin and Dooku is Kendo. Dooku goes straight into a Kendo pose, and we just turned Anakin. That fight was originally just Anakin and Dooku. It changed, and George brought in Obi and Yoda. For the first time, you would see a fully computer-generated character in a lightsaber duel in Master Yoda. What well you have, my old bad one. The duels were extensive and pervasive in the final installment of the prequels, Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> and there would be another reveal from the dark side of the Force. You're under arrest, Chancellor. 
Are you threatening me, Master Jedi? When I was handed the script of Revenge of the Sith, I noticed that Palpatine had a lightsaber fight. So I thought, oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to become a kendo expert. It was easy to demolish the first set of guys, but then fighting with Sam uh, was a little more complicated. Initially, most of the dueling would be left to McDermott's body double. But the day of the shoot, George had other ideas. George needed me to be convincing uh, in the mid shots and the close-ups, so I had to learn the routines. I mean, we had 10 minutes to teach Ian that fight. <laughs> there you go, like that. That's good. Sam, he was terrific and was very patient with me. I think I hit him over the head a couple of times. But <laughs> it was a very fast shoot because we were always moving on to the next scene. After months of training and weeks of filming, came the ultimate battle between Ewan McGregor's Obi-Wan Kenobi and Hayden Christensen's Anakin Skywalker. And you've got to do it to such a degree where you don't have to think about it. You've just got to, it's got to become fluid. They get to a point where they become better at it than you and the doubles. That's when your kendo becomes a beautiful thing. The speed, balance, the violence. Kendo was everything that Jedi and Sith are. Which brings us back to Japan and the 2015 World Kendo Championships. The main event is the men's team competition. The final four teams are Brazil, Korea, Japan, and Team USA competing for its first ever gold medal. Japan has won every single time except for in 2006. So Japan is obviously the favorite. It's not all about the ability, right? It's all about your heart. We're gonna take them down. When we return, 